All right, guys, welcome back to the workshop. Just um, been a while since I've done a video. The old COVID stuff has been definitely uh, keeping me busy in a lot of ways I don't like, but um, I thought I would do a quick review because I've been having a little bit of time now to work on some cars. And today we're going to look at the, uh, the Area 71 3D printed slot car kits. Um, this one here is a pretty cool kit. Uh, it's the Cadillac ATS-V GT3 car. Um, I bought three GT3 kits to put together. Um, so let's see what's in the box. First bag here, we got our body and chassis. Um, standard slot it pod style chassis. These work really well from what I've heard. Um, I've only put one together myself. It does have adjustable front axle height on it. Um, and can do side winder, angle winder, whatever pod you want. Um, here's our body. One thing that's really cool about the Area 71 cars is they can get so much detail printed straight into these bodies. Um, because they don't have to make all these small small molds for extra parts and stuff like that. So there's those two parts. Again with the detail, um, like this roll cage driver bust interior all in one. Super cool. Um, dash detail, steering wheel whole bunch of stuff that you just couldn't get um, from a normal car kit. It's got the screen in there and everything. So you got your interior, you got your rear wing for the car, driver's helmet, kind of hard to see, and side view mirrors. And you got your set of full set of Lexan uh, windows and headlight covers, headlight and tail light. Then the last thing you're gonna get is wheel inserts. And um, let's see if I can get these to focus. So, out of everything in the kit, this is probably the the biggest downfall in my opinion. I can't get it to focus. Um, the, this is a 3D printed insert, and the quality just isn't isn't really there compared to this the styrene unit which you have right here um, it seems to me that they fail print a lot on that design and so they end up um, including styrene ones with their cars uh, at times but um, I've tried to make a few of them work I, I don't have very good luck with them I just use an insert from NSR or from slot it um, they work just fine um, so I'm gonna show you a completed car one thing i wanted to talk about with these is you can see here that the surface finish is quite rough and they actually finish this with a carbon type product um, and while they are extremely detailed and this is a super lightweight body um, i can check the weight here So yeah, this, this complete body only weighs 13.3 grams, which, uh, you know, puts it right there with some of the top, you know, high performance slot car manufacturers out there. So that's really impressive, but it is a significant amount of work to get this looking good. Um, I have built one, excuse me, I had to do uh, two or three coats of filler primer with sanding in between making sure that I etched out these details um, like the doors and the the uh, fuel tank filler ahead of time so that I didn't lose that detail when I went and did all that priming and painting. Um, I did still lose a little bit however I think it was more than acceptable. Um, so I spent probably about three hours completing the body and then you know another hour and a half two hours of hand painting um, and finishing the body with the Lexan windows and headlight covers and so on. But I'll show you the finished product here. 
This is a um, C8R slot car. And as you can see, the finish is quite good once you take the time to prime it, sand it, and put it together. Um, it did end up competitive on weight. I did have to, you know, I obviously ballasted it and many other things um, to get it fast, hopefully. But uh, I am using utilizing their chassis on this car for testing. Um, so we'll see how well it goes. I haven't got to drive it yet. Um, so anyway, you can make them look really good. Um, downsides, like I said, are the, the finish takes a long time. All the parts fit together really good. Um, and they look good once you get done processing them. Um, and I think it will be a pretty high performance slot car. The real benefit of these 3D printed slot cars is there's, you know, the C8R isn't available from any manufacturer yet. Um, I'm sure it will be adopted by Scale Electric or Carrera or somebody right off the bat, but not in a high performance version like you should be able to get out of this car. So. Um, that's obviously why I chose this brand for this car. Um, I made sure when I ordered cars from them that I only ordered cars that I couldn't get from anybody else. So the ATSV, uh, which, you know, somebody did make the body at one time. I can't remember. I think it was a scale electric car, but not with a high performance chassis and updated model body work and so on. And then I also ordered a DBR9 GT3 because it's not available from any other brand, um, at least performance wise. So I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to lay these parts out and pick up the camera and try to give you just a little bit more detail on what they look like. Um, I, I do recommend the kits as far as a uh, build time goes they're they're very time intensive but if you're someone like me who gets a lot of reward out of doing it from scratch um, then it's a great kit um, it will take you a long time um, and they are cheap um, the kit here i think is about seventy dollars seventy five dollars plus you got to ship them um, from italy however um, I think I spent $30 on shipping and covered three cars for that, so roughly $10 a car shipping. Um, but anyway, let's take a closer look. What you can really see is the detail they're able to get into these cars with the canards, these delicate vents. You know, the lacing on the rear window is already in there. You just got to paint that your your backdrop color, you got your rear diffuser here, all molded in, driver detail, you can see your screens, steering wheel, you can paint all that up to look really nice. So I'll give you one last view of the Corvette here. This is the finished model. Anyway guys, hopefully you find some of this review uh, helpful to you. Um, it's just impromptu and uh, unprofessional, but I don't spend a lot of time on these videos. I just try to put good information in them. So if there's anything you want to see, me cover or if you want to see a build up of one of these and what I take to put it into the body to get it going just uh, let me know and I'll, I'll try to make it happen for you thanks for stopping by